this is Human Warnings. This will be a ramble, and if you don't like the deep end, then go back to the shallow end. Overview of CPE Box Essay on the True Art of Playing Keyboard Instruments. This is an extremely hard um, thing to do an overview of, uh, considering that this is basically like reviewing the Bible, or giving an overview of the Bible. Also considering the fact that I don't understand it completely, because it's very... It's very deep stuff. So I'm going to mainly talk about the importance of this book, and then I'm going to briefly touch on some of the points made in the book. Uh, I can't go on in depth about the points of the book because I don't quite understand all of it. Because it's it's like uh, mo molecular, uh, you know, quantum physics. It's difficult. Okay, this book was written by the son of Johann Sebastian Bach. His name was uh, Christian. No, sorry. He, Carl Philippe Emmanuel Bach. Um, Bach had a number of sons. One of them was uh, Johann Christian Bach, who was best friends with Mozart. But this is a different one, a different son. This is uh, Carl Philippe Emmanuel Bach. Now, this book is very rare. It's very hard to find. I, I bought one on eBay for like 50 bucks, and there was only like one of them. It's very hard to come across this book. And pretty much, I think nobody's read it. Um, even people who have like PhDs in music in university they haven't read it because this is like the source material everybody just reads uh, the popular theory I think these days the main reason I'm making this is because if you look up uh, CPE Bach essay on the true art of playing keyboard instruments on YouTube you find nothing so this is like the only one on YouTube about the subject so I might as well right because if I wasn't me I would want to find this. Um, somebody who's truly interested in um, music theory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip through my copy of the book, which has highlight it's highlighted uh, parts, and just uh, recite some of the cool parts. And we're going to refer to this as the essay. Okay, so Haydn, who uh, taught Mozart, he referred to this book as the school of all schools. Um... And Mozart, Beethoven, Clement, and Clementi added their endorsements. Uh, speaking uniformly of Bach as one whose music must be studied, not simply played. Uh, Beethoven's met method followed the essay closely. Um, Mozart's famous sweeping statement, as quoted by Rochlitz, is, He is the father, we are the children. Those of us who do anything right learned it from him, referring to the essay. Whoever does not own to this is a scoundrel. Oh, another Mozart quote regarding uh, CPE Bach. We can no longer do as he did, but the way in which he did it places him beyond all others. And here's a quote by CPE Bach regarding his father, Johann Sebastian Bach. In composition and keyboard performance, I have never had any teacher but my father. Mm, okay, I'm reading, I'm reading more from the book. Nowhere is Philip Emanuel's indebtedness to his father more clearly expressed than in the chapter on fingering. The son worked out the details, but the father fixed the basic, basic principles. However, it is clear from the reference to fingering as a secret art known and practiced by very few, that the Bach family did not discover it, but rather organized it and elaborated its technique. Okay, I don't know exactly what that was, but uh, I think this book is is the uh, the first book that before before this book people didn't use their thumbs or their pinkies when uh, playing piano so this book uh, innovated by uh, the idea of using your thumbs and your pinky finger when you're playing the piano um, oh here it goes box fingering is the foundation of modern technique oh and here's a quote in regards to Rameau's theory, which was another, the alternate theory of the time. I, I uh, talked about Rameau in a previous uh, YouTube thing that I made. Um, Bach and his father were, were acquainted with Rameau's theory, which has become the basis of most of the modern writings on harmony. But they disagreed with it. Um... You may proclaim that my and my deceased father's basic principles are contrary to Rameau's. 
Oh, and the uh, distinction being cited is uh, what Bach was doing was a practice and what Rameau did was just a theory. Essentially, um, Rameau had like two, said that there's only two different kinds of chords. So he simplified things to that degree. Bach, uh, here it says, Bach has 20, but includes many others as subtypes, chromatic variants, and alternates. Yeah, I'm not going to get into the actual theory because I don't understand even one-tenth of it. But I'll just say that um, according to Bach, there's like dozens of different types of chords. And um, it's extremely complicated. And um, he really gets into the subtleties. Um, things like ornaments, trills, um, retardations, um, anticipations. Um, he he really gets into detail about this stuff, and it should be studied if somebody actually wants to write music with any kind of subtlety, any kind of nuance. If somebody just wants to write caveman garbage, then you just read Rameau. I would have to read this book like 20 more times in order to fully understand it, and even then I wouldn't fully understand it. This is like the highest form of like learning when it comes to music. Um... And I'm humbled by the fact that I'm out of my league. I'm not usually out of my league in life, but here, yeah. This book, it's like reading Aristotle, you know, or reading uh, Plato. Yeah, so that's all on this. Uh, the, the last one I'm going to do on music theory is on Schenker. And I can get into better detail about him because Schenker is mainly extrapolating. Ma mainly, uh, uh, what's the word? He's mainly elaborating on the theories of Bach and Fuchs, and he's also condemning uh, Rameau and other such assholes. If you like gays, click like. If you like blacks, comment. If you like women, click notification bell. If you like gay women, subscribe. And if you like gay black women, uh, Patreon, human warnings, give me money.